Hey, what's going on guys? Today on the channel, we're gonna be doing a quick crash course kind of video about Apple CarPlay. So maybe you're just getting a new vehicle that has this feature, like this is gonna be a quick little video showing you how to set it up, different features and things like that. So first things first, you know if your vehicle is compatible with CarPlay and chances are it probably is, especially if it has a touch screen uh, similar to like this Ford here. By the way, we're in a a Ford Bronco Sport today. But anyways, we're going to talk about CarPlay and how to set it up. So there is wired and wireless CarPlay. So in this Ford, you do have to use the wired connection. And setting it up for the first time is actually pretty simple and self-explanatory. So all you have to do is plug in your phone. Now this phone is already set up with CarPlay. So you'll hear it vibrate to charge. Oh, we don't want you to hear that volume, but, uh, yeah, so you'll hear it to charge and then CarPlay will come right up. Now, if you're setting this up for the first time, what will actually happen is you'll get a little prompt on your phone uh, and it'll ask you if basically if you want to use CarPlay with this uh, vehicle. So once you do that, you'll be greeted with a screen similar to this. So CarPlay, just think of it as kind of a condensed version of your phone, except it's in your car's infotainment screen. So it's actually really simple to operate. Operating it is not an issue whatsoever. So we have all these icons here, and we can actually change those in our settings on our phone, which we'll show you that here in a moment. But you can scroll over and you can see all the different apps that you have here. So these are all apps, obviously, on your phone. Now, not every application is CarPlay compatible. So you can see, in my case, Waze, Spotify, CNBC, and Google Maps are the only apps that I have here that are actually uh, compatible. But I will show you, if you go into your settings, you go into general, you can go into CarPlay, and then right here is where you can see all the vehicles that you have it set up with. So in this case, Sync 3. That's a Ford. So you can go in here, you can see allow CarPlay when locked. You can also forget this car. If you go into customize, this is where you can see all the different applications. So maybe if I don't want uh, Google Maps, for example, I can just delete it off of my screen. So that is where you can adjust those settings for CarPlay. Over here on the left hand side, you kind of have like your status symbols right here. So uh, we have our cell signal, Wi-Fi, if you're connected to it. And then you also have the time. Right here is where you'll kind of get like some different uh, status notifications. So if you have a focus status enabled, like do not disturb while driving, you'll see that pop up right here. This area is your, is your three apps that are your most recently used. So maps, music, phone, in my case. And then this button down here gives you like kind of a dashboard view, which lays out uh, your three apps here. So we have maps and then maps up there and then also your music. This is kind of nice. Like if you want to just kind of glance at the map and you know, see your music or whatever, um, you'll be able to do so. As far as all these applications go, uh, they're pretty self-explanatory. Um, so phone, music, maps, messages, of course, now playing. Whatever vehicle you have, this will be different. So in this case, we have Ford. And basically all that does is take you back to the Ford infotainment. So uh, that's what that does. And then your podcast, your news, and all that kind of stuff like that. Now the cool thing with CarPlay is you can actually use your vehicle to interact with it. So the different controls in your car. For example, this vehicle has steering wheel controls for hanging up the phone, answering, skipping tracks, and also uh, Siri. It also has volume controls over here on the left-hand side. Now, I say Siri. This is actually the Ford uh, voice command button. But when it determines that CarPlay is connected, you can actually use Siri. So if you hold that down, tell me a joke. Did you hear about the criminal ink? It was in the pen doing a long sentence. <laughs> So, yeah, Siri can be enabled uh, right there. Also, we can skip tracks. So, go back into my music. Kind of show you this. We can skip tracks, um, you know, like that. So, that's pretty cool. Um, so, yeah, being able to use your car's controls is pretty nice. 
uh, with that. I'll give you guys a little pro tip uh, with Siri. So if you turn your volume knob of your vehicle while Siri is on there, you can see that it says voice volume. So that was something that I didn't know, like... I'm currently speaking at 50%. Oh, okay. Uh, but that was something that I didn't know how to adjust one day, but that's pretty cool. Um, well, yeah, so that is pretty nice stuff there. Um, but Siri is very handy while driving because it allows you to do it hands-free. So I know very frequently I like to uh, tell Siri to call somebody. Also, if you have text messages, you can uh, ask Siri to read your text. And if you're in an app, like you're driving down the road, listening to music, your text will come up in a little banner style down here at the bottom. And then you can literally just push Siri and say, read my text, and she'll read them for you. Now, I would go into maps, but you'll obviously see my location. But you can search for destinations. You can do all that stuff. You can't type anything, though. So you're going to have to use Siri or you can just use your recent um, map places that you've been. Another handy tip I found is if you like to create calendar events, be sure to put the address of whatever location you're going into your calendar. So that way uh, maps can obviously just populate that and you'll have no issue there. Now some apps like news are just available for listening to stories. You can't obviously just read the news going down the road. Um, phone, you get like your recent calls and everything, you can see it. Audiobooks, Waze is super cool on here. I love using Waze uh, on here. And then we can go into settings, and there's a few CarPlay settings that you can kind of adjust. Obviously, your driving focus, so you can choose to activate that whenever CarPlay is enabled. Also, appearance, I like to do automatic, or you can always do the dark mode, pretty nice. Wallpaper, you can choose your different wallpaper here for your CarPlay background, which is right there, of course. Uh, and then you have a few Siri settings, so suggestions, automatically send messages. Uh, so that's kind of nice. You wouldn't have to tell Siri to confirm to send a message. You just send it on, right? And then show album art. So there's really not a lot of settings here to talk about, but CarPlay is really just kind of a different version of of your phone and wow there's a good example of a text message coming in that wasn't planned um but yeah you can see that for example and if i were to tell siri to read that uh she would read that so but yeah overall carplay is a pretty simple thing to use i definitely recommend that you use it um for me personally like if i show you ford for example well it's even integrating oh well that's a little awkward. <laughs> That's what happens when you sit in your car too long. But uh, anyways, so with CarPlay, after you plug in your phone, you'll notice that it's like integrating into the Ford system as well. So like phone here, CarPlay stuff. If I went in the phone right there, it would actually show up. If I unplug my phone, you can see that now it says add a phone uh, with Bluetooth. So. With CarPlay, I don't even use Bluetooth on my sync system anymore. I just use uh, CarPlay, and it works just fine. Um, this also makes it so much easier when you're driving down the road with maps. Navigation is so much better because you're not having to hold your phone and look at that. So that's pretty nice. Uh, but yeah, that's basically just a quick overview of Apple CarPlay overall. It's pretty simple to use, um, pretty self-explanatory, but that's all I want to show you guys today. Thanks for watching the channel as always, and I'll catch you all in the next video.